Havelock in Craven County is well known as the home of the Marine Corps Air Station Cherry Point, not so well known as a tourist destination. Well, the city's Tourist and Events Center invites you to stop by and discover what the area has to offer. Producer Derek Long did just that. At Havelock's Tourist and Event Center, it's evident before you enter the building that the history of this area is closely tied to the Marine Corps Air Station Cherry Point. Before the, the uh, late 40s, uh, Havelock was uh, really only a crossroad. Uh, about 100 people is all that lived in the, in the area. Cherry Point contributes about uh, a little over $2 billion into the economy of our four-county area. It employs about uh, 3,500 civilian employees, uh, largest single source of civilian employment uh, east of I-95. Our attempt is to portray the growth of Eastern Carolina along with the military aviation that's been in our presence. Several aircraft are on display outside, beginning with the A-6 at the entrance off Highway 70. Of course, that's a uh, Vietnam era airplane, uh, carried a ton of bombs for us. It was a, a baby B-52, if you will, for the Marine Corps. Other aircraft are in front of the tourist center the helicopter. It's an H-46 out there and that was the airplane starting actually prior to Vietnam uh, that the Marine Corps was using to transport troops and goods. Next to it's an A-4. We call it the scooter, but it was an airplane from Vietnam era and it was a carrier airplane and actually did ex excellent work for us. There's a, an F-9 which is Korean type vintage and it's a, it's a fighter attack airplane. And then finally, an RF-4B, which is a reconnaissance version of the F-4 Phantom. It was specially designed not to deliver weapons, but to come in and do reconnaissance and take uh, photos. So they're kind of rare. Displays show the history and development of aviation over the years. But part of the message here is that history is not a story of the past, but a continuing journey into the future. It's where we want all these young kids that are in school today to take a look and say, how would you like to do that? How would you like to be one of those guys that are sitting down designing all this stuff and try to motivate them to get into science and technology? Though much of the story of Havelock is tied to the Marine Corps Air Station, other displays tell the earlier history. The railroad coming through here in 1858 is what really put Havelock on the map. During the Civil War, Union forces built a blockhouse fort to guard the rail lines and station as part of their assault on New Bern. Back in the days of Prohibition, uh, this was uh, known as the moonshine capital uh, of the world. It was right, right here. Lots of, uh, lots of moonshine was, uh, was distilled and, and carried up, up north. Perhaps the most interesting thing to learn is how Havelock got its name. Sir Henry Havelock was a famous general for the, the British back in the 1800s. During the Sepoy Mutiny of 1857 in India, Havelock led his outnumbered forces in a series of battles to relieve the besieged garrison of 1,200 soldiers and non-combatants at Lucknow. When the Atlantic and North Carolina Railroad came to the Crossroads community on Slocum's Creek in 1858, Havelock had gained worldwide fame. So the railroad named this Havelock Station. One of eight cities in the world named for Sir Henry Havelock. And I think it's very fitting that uh, someone with a strong, strong military background uh, would be uh, the namesake for the home of, uh, of the Second Marine Air Wing. This is Derek Long for North Carolina Weekend. The Havelock Tourist and Event Center is located at 201 Tourist Center Drive just off Highway 70 in Havelock. And they're open Monday through Saturday. For more information, call 252-444-4348 or go online to cityofhavelock.com.